Okay, my name is Mike Hawk, and this time we're going to learn how to make a plugin. Okay, so the things you need is uh, Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code. Although Visual Studio Code is very good at doing little tasks, you do need to get Visual Studio. Okay. Uh, mine already has this Rust plugins thing, but it's empty, so I'm going to uh, get rid of it. So let's go back down to Visual Studio. And the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a copy of um, your Rust dedicated data off an active server that is up to date. Okay? And you will need oxide in that. Anyway. Um, so, let's create a new project. We're going to go here. We're going to go to uh, the C Sharp class library. Next. Um, I normally call these Rust plugins, but I've already got one, so plugins. Okay. With two S's. Okay. You can give it a couple of seconds and it should create a new project and probably open up on the wrong screen. Nope, there we go. Okay, first things first, we need to add our dependencies. So we're going to go down onto our dependencies here in Solution Explorer. If you're on Mac, it's on the other side for some reason. And we're going to add project reference. Now we're going to go to browse and we're going to click browse again. Then we're going to navigate to our Rust dedicated data wherever we have saved it. Okay, we're going to go into the manage folder and we're going to grab these files. Now, normally if you select all the files and click add, it will just error out. Nothing will happen and it gets frustrating. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and do it in sections. So, let's try harmony down to fix punch. Add. There we are, see? And then let's try face punch, or flag down to uh, novel. They added. Let's try uh, novel, wherever you are. We've gone face punch down to novel, there we go. Now let's try oxide down to rust. Check that there. Oxide, rust, yeah, they're there. We did it, didn't we? What's the last one? Rust.world. Yeah. So let's do the systems. They added. And let's do the unities. Sometimes uh, you may find that 102.add and um, it all just kicks out. When you click OK now, it will load, try and load in all the uh, DLLs and it will turn around and say, mm, this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work. And um, yeah, you just kind of click OK. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really affect it, it just means I can't use them. Boom, and there it is. Okay, so you just see a load of this stuff. Yeah, fine. Click OK, and then we're going to go to our assemblies, and you can see that the majority of here. Okay. Next thing, we're going to delete class one. Right click, delete. Okay. There. Now we're ready to start our scene. 